yeah what's going on guys and welcome today again to AGIT codeworks and um, today we are going to be looking at how to iterate through an array okay we're going to look at how to iterate through an array what does that mean that's an efficient efficient way to go through the elements of an array this is particularly useful when the array contains a lot of elements a lot it could be a thousand elements could be hundred elements a lot of elements and you want to go through each element one by one in an effective and a programmatic way this is a very this is one of the core practice of programming iterating through an array now there are other ways to iterate through an array okay but maybe in our next tutorial we'll look at the other ways to iterate through an array but for now we are going to do it using a while loop but like i said that's not the only way to iterate through an array okay but we'll be using a while loop now maybe in our next video we'll look how to do it with something we'll call a for each loop okay the for each loop is ridiculously straightforward and simple but let's find out how to do it using the while loop first of all all right let's get coding um okay so here, here we are in my notepad plus plus we are going to create a simple file that we are going to store the information in the code in so let's save it first of all so let's just call it by underscore array underscore while loop. of course you can name it whatever you want it is let's get coding all right so let's see how we can use a while loop to go through an array okay iterating to an array like i've said before it's a programmatic method or process where you go through the elements of an array one by one without needing to manually print it out one by one let's see how we, how this works so first of all we need our array the array in question okay first of all we'll have our php tag first of all don't forget that i need to sleep my head all right um so let's create any array any array of our choice that we would use to practice how to iterate through an array or go through the elements of an array all right let's say we have names let's have an array called names which will contain which will contain the names of so let's say this array will contain names and we want to either search through the names or go through the entire names like i said this is a very effective concept in programming iterating or going through the elements of an array let's continue coding all right so let's say i have mike as the first element i have jack as the second element i have um I have Lillian, the next element. I have um, Ralph, Hanks. Right, so this is a data set or rather an array um we have mike J jack lillian ralph hanks and tom it doesn't matter if it's 30 elements or 100 elements now if i wanted to print out every element in this array it would not be very convenient if the array was large for me to start printing out everything one by one like this dollar sign names i start from the zero index please if you don't understand what i'm talking about uh, mentioning arrays you can check out our previous video in this same series web development using Python mysql you would see where we treated arrays we introduced arrays we've dealt with associative arrays too you have the link in the, in the description so let's continue so it will not be convenient for us to do this and then print the next one and then the next one and so on and so forth to print out all these elements if the elements were like 100 in number that would be really difficult all right so to get this done quickly first things first we have a count function count variable not function we have a count variable that starts from zero okay hence the first index is zero um we now say while count so this is how you create your while loop we've addressed while loop already in this same channel in this same series so i say while i put my condition while the count variable is less than okay the size of the array so to get the size of the array we say count is a count function that returns the size of our array so once the count variable is less than the size of our array do this echo 
dollar sign names now the index is not going to be a number it's going to be our count variable please take note don't mistake this count function for the count variable the, this is the count variable it could basically be anything it could be c it could be whatever it's a variable we gave it a, an option any name of our choice but this here is a function that returns the size of our array so what will be returned here would be one two three four five six so this would run and print out each of this member of the loop and stops when count becomes one two three four five six all right let's see how that works let's put a, a little paragraph here for spacing then after that we increase count by one So this is applying our this is apply this should be a plus plus sorry okay so this would be applying our while loops in arrays to get the result where we run through every element in the array let's see what we get as a result so first of all let's run this full file path to clipboard before you run this make sure you have your zam server started okay mine is started my apache is running my mysql service is running we also have a video on this series where we look out set up the environment the php environment the zam server and so on and so forth you will have the, a link also in the description so let's go to our google chrome and run the page so i paste the full file path to, um, to the url then from ht docs backwards we change it to local host and we run this so here it is we get mike jack lillian ralph hanks and tom the good thing about this is that it's dynamic if this array had more elements let's say i add another element like george okay george is added later to the database or to the data set and then we run the exact same script so george is added and so on and so forth or even if we change mike to let's say done we run this changes to done so that's how to run through the elements of an array take note of that um i haven't mentioned this in the next video we're going to look at how to use the for each loop to do that the for each loop will achieve the same result but with a much with a more simpler code construct a more simpler coding construct so do this once you achieve this result we are ready for our next video our next video is going to be on the for each loop where we look at a simpler way to run through the elements of an array do have a wonderful day and please don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section if you have any questions um subscribe and hit the notification button and also hit the like button if you find you the video useful do have a wonderful rest of the day